Hello, I'm Matej Pechac from Techium AI team and I would like to present you features of our Prodigy CPU which are going to push the computing power of artificial intelligence models and high performance computation to the whole new level. Every one of you who is interested in recent development of AI certainly know that the cutting edge models are often very complex and consume lots of memory and their real-time performance depends on clusters of CPUs and GPUs, especially models dealing with natural language processing, computer vision models solving tasks like segmentation and object detection, deep reinforcement learning models and many others. We know about this problem very well and we are addressing it with introduction of matrix instructions. Our CPU with matrix instruction set provides an order of magnitude higher performance than other common CPUs relying only on the vector instructions. We will explain it in more detail in a few minutes. Another approach to reduce time required for training large models is to reduce the precision of its parameters so you can achieve more floating operations per second. Our CPU natively supports low precision data types like integer 4, integer 8 and others. We have performed thorough analysis by testing image classification and object detection models and we achieved accuracy after convergence of model with low precision data types in par with flow 32 as you can see on the chart. This has resulted in considerable reduction of training time. With our Prodigy CPU, we also provide backend implementations for the most popular AI frameworks like PyTorch or TensorFlow, which allows the end users to use native instruction set and all the features provided by Prodigy CPU without any need to modify their models. As you can see on the screenshots, we used our custom implementations of convolutional and dense operators, activation and loss functions to test well-known models on Prodigy instruction set. After exploring the assembly, we can find their calls for our matrix and vector instructions used in the implementations of PyTorch backend. Let me show you a short demo. We are booting Techium Linux, which will run on the Prodigy CPU. First, we will briefly look into source codes of our test models. As you can see, our own game implementation is using meshed matrix instructions. We provide implementation of convolutional operator for a whole set of data types like integer 8, flow 32, using specially customized instructions from Prodigy instruction set. In our implementation, you can see wrappers handling models quantized to low precision modes.
Finally, we can show how we are able to run the inference of ResNet image classifier on one input image from popular ImageNet dataset. Now we can see forward pass through each layer. And finally, we obtained the output reduced to the top highest scores for classes. As you may all know, for efficient inference in AI you often need quantized and compressed model to achieve low latency and high throughput. All these features are natively supported by Prodigy instruction set in all core components of every AI model. We have performed exhaustive tests with low precision data types to determine which are suitable for inference and training of AI models to increase their speed and versatility to maximum and reduce memory consumption. Let me show you some examples. In this case, we have used mixed precision mode where weights were encoded to integer 4 and activations to integer 8. The model was trained from scratch on ImageNet dataset, then pruned and quantized, and finally evaluated on test dataset. You may notice that there is very minor degradation in accuracy, but we greatly reduced its memory consumption and increased its inference speed. We have also performed tests on larger models with the same results. Prodigy provides special instructions for storing and loading sparse matrices, which are results of pruning techniques. We have tested several models and pruning approaches. And the results are good enough. You can see that such optimal model like ShuffleNet can be still reduced and preserve its accuracy and profit from Prodigy instruction set for sparse matrix operations. As I promised, we will look in more detail on matrix instructions. But first, let me explain how common general matrix multiplication works with vector instructions. Both matrices are tiled to M and N vectors, which are then multiplied K times, and then each step we need to perform N multiply at operations. We can see it on this animation. And here in more detail. Such approach need k times m vector instruction calls. In our approach, we perform different tiling of the matrices by dividing them into small submatrices. Subsequently, we perform matrix multiplication of these tiles or fragments, which is accelerated directly by Prodigy CPU. Thus, in one step, there is performed much more multiply at operations at once. Following is animation of the tiling. And here we can see usage of matrix multiplication instructions. This approach reduces the number of loops compared to standard GEMS implementations. For better imagination, here is the comparison where you can notice the massive reduction in the number of instruction calls, which is according to our test 15 times less than standard vector-based multiplication.
Prodigy CPU capabilities will provide boost to high performance computing which provides double precision data types and support for fast differential equation solvers and iterative refinement solvers using low precision modes. AI is rapidly developing and is finding its place in many domains of society like medicine, industry, robotics, computer vision, natural language processing and others. There are also scientific disciplines like particle physics, astrophysics and many others relying on supercomputers performing high performance computing. Prodigy CPU provides features for both areas which is also supported by our tests I presented you. I hope we will see you again in the next videos.